Hello everyone, this is Aaron Fitz from ATF Gaming, and welcome back to NASCAR Dirt to Daytona. Today, we should be wrapping up the season. Right now, we are in first place in the standings with a, I did the math beforehand, but I just need to get it out again, a 47-point advantage over Anderson. Those uh, were basically the only two guys who have a shot at it. I believe we have two races left. So, 47 points to maintain over two races. I believe these are both tracks that we did well at last season. Again, we're skipping the weekly racing series. We know that. We have two races left. We know the last one's at Martinsville. And if you remember from last season, we won that race at Martinsville for our first uh, modified series win. And that set us up for an excellent run this season. But first, we have to deal with New Hampshire. If I recall, we did well uh, the most recent time we were at New Hampshire. If I recall correctly, I might be wrong with that. But I, I know we struggled at it last season, but I think we are definitely doing better here with the upgrades that we've made. But let's head off to qualifying and try to get used to the track again. Again, Anderson's the one we got to beat right now, so we're going to try to we're going to compare to his time. And of course, he's on the pole right now. Why not? Uh, 30.6, so let's compare to that time, see if we can beat it. What's our best time? A 31.6, so we might not be able to compete with that in qualifying, but we're going to give it a shot. I'm, we have made some upgrades since the last time we've been here, I'm pretty sure. So I would assume we'd be a little bit better, but let's just see what we can do here. All right, shut off a little too much speed there. Well, it's better to do that than overdrive it, in my opinion. All right, I think we did, we pretty much nailed that corner. But if we can do that in three and four, I think we're gonna have a good lap. I have an itch on my neck. Drive it in deep. Oh, yeah, that was really good. Oh, I had to let off a second time. Dang it. I thought I thought we did it, but I overdrove it a little bit. That's probably going to hurt our lap here. Right, that was pretty much identical to what we ran last time. And that's not going to put us near Anderson, but I still think that's a good qualifying effort. Yep, fifth. So that's still a good qualifying effort, but we really have to put it together in the race. It's a good car. It's just if I hadn't messed up that... Uh, turn three and four, I think we would have been fine. So I'm not going to make any adjustments. Forgot Alan Bestrick was doing the intro again. But at least we're starting on the inside here. Look, the NASCAR Heat patented three wide starts have even gone into the old games. Would you look at that? All right, it looks like Anderson got a bad start. So he might not lead this first lap. It looks like Bundy is getting ahead of him. But I had to let off a little bit too much there. There's really only two ways of doing things. Letting off at the right times or being wrong at this track. So I, I gotta be smart about this and let off at the right times. But I think as long as we can finish in the top five here, I think we'll be fine going into Martinsville. We know Martinsville is a good track for us. I, I said this in the la one of the last last week's episodes, but it certainly seems like. Uh, you just stop in the middle of the corner. Even... Oh, no. What is that? I've never seen that before. Was that the game or was that my TV? Engines running rough? What? That's never happened before. Luckily, it went away. This is not the time for my engine to be be bad. I certainly 
Well, I don't want it to be my TV either. So I'm gonna assume it's the game. What the heck? Really? The first time that ever happens is going to be right when we're about to win, win a championship? Two races to go? Man, this is Kyle Larson Simulator, isn't it? This is Kyle Larson Simulator. Or Martin Truex Jr. from last year's simulator. I just want to hold this top five because I'm concerned about whatever that engine thing was. Because we're, we're not reaching our highest RPMs right now. We're only reaching 7,000. So we, I think we're maxing out. You can see our RPM gauge kind of sputtering. Um, is, there a, is there a menu for that? Oh, yeah, that's a menu. That's not good. We have 25% engine damage, and I'm only going to assume that's going to get worse because our oil temp is high. What the heck, game? Really, the first time that ever happens has to be now? Well, I sure hope Anderson's not winning. Because if he is, this is going to be a really tight points battle. I think we might actually be pretty close to tied after this race if he wins and has all the bonus points. So it's a good thing Martinsville is our, 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 uh, one of our best tracks because otherwise we might be in some deep trouble. White Flag is out, sponsored by Le Mode Restaurants. I'm just going to try to bring it home here in 6th. But what the heck, game? It's like this game doesn't want me to, to run in the in the truck series next season. It's like this game doesn't want this the season to end at, at 11 episodes because that's an odd number. Frick you, game. Checkered flag is out. I just want to finish in six. So, Rob, I'm sorry, but if you try to get around me, you're going to be in the wall. But what the heck, game? Seriously? Anderson won, of course, and I'm going to assume he led the most laps. Frick you, game. Gosh. Yep. So he got 40 points over me, so we're still going to have a 7-point advantage going into Martinsville. So basically what that means is we have to finish ahead of Anderson. That's the only safe way that we can be confident about this. Or we have to be one position behind him, and that's it. He can't have more bonus points than us or anything. But what the frick, game? Yeah, we're still on the points lead, but we got a seven-point cushion. <sighs> All right. We know Martinsville is the last race. We know we can do well at Martinsville. We won there last season. We only go there once a year. So we know we can do well. I'm saving my money for a truck series ride next season. All right. We're going to have to execute like we did last season. Or at least stay within a position of Anderson. Regardless, if he gets bonus points, we have to get bonus points. If he gets more bonus points than us, we have to finish ahead of him. So... We just need to, A, finish ahead of him, B, get bonus points. But let's qualify, see what kind of a lap we can put down. Of course, Anderson's on the pole already. Luckily, Silva knocked him off. So Anderson ran a, basically a 22 flat. So we're going to have to run, try to get a 22 flat. And we have done that in the past. Last season, we, we did a 21.5. So if I execute like I did last season... We're going to be fine. But as last, uh, the weekly racing series proved last season, me executing from one season to the next is not really um, very good. So let, let's just hope that that trend changes here. We're not running the very bottom line because I'm carrying a little too much speed, but I think that's going to be fine. Right, A 20.5. Wow. Wow. We won the poll by over a second. Wow.
Well, if we run run it like qualifying, we're going to be fine. The main thing is going to be uh, lap traffic because I remember this was a long race. Hello and welcome to a piece of racing history the Martinsville Speedway in South Central Virginia. Martinsville was open before NASCAR was even founded. It's one of the sport's original tracks. This paper clip shaped half mile has grown from a dusty pioneer to a beautiful racing facility with personality and unique challenges every time. I don't know why, but I feel like Alan Bestrick's in intros are just so abbreviated. It doesn't seem like it ends on the, the correct note. But anyway, we know what the goal is. Anderson is starting fourth, but obviously winning the race and leading a lap is goal number one right now. Where is my mirror? There it is. Okay, grass probably isn't the best way to go. We got our usual good restarts. I just Goal number one right now is leading a lap. That is goal number one right now. Which we have accomplished. Now goal number two is winning this race. We, this is a long race. 13 laps. So we just need to be consistent and smart. We know we're fast. We've almost built, we almost built a two second lead before I clipped that grass. So we know we are good. We just have to continue executing. So I, uh, if you haven't seen the channel update video that I put out on Sunday... Then you'll know that this will be the only episode uh, for this week, uh, for this game. And I might not even put an episode of this game up next week. Because um, this is the end of the season. I might take a slight break from it. Uh, just because these next two weeks are super busy for me. I do want to have some continue, uh, continuancy. Um, so I do want to have at least one episode of every game up per week. But again, uh, this season is ending. So I, I probably wouldn't would take a break from it anyway, so I don't know if I would start right away. 10 laps to go, we're already reaching lap traffic, but we have a four second lead over Bundy and a six second lead over Anderson. That's the big thing. So as long as we don't screw this up and as long as the game doesn't randomly give us engine damage again, we're gonna be fine. In fact, let's just check the engine me menu just so, so we're, we know we're good. That was bad. I'm sorry to whoever that was. We have 7% aero damage now. That was stupid of me. I don't know if that oil temp is bad or not. I really don't have an idea. That's pretty close to the oil temp we ran last week. So that concerns me a little bit. Uh, let's just get back to the other menu so that we can... I just tried to press use the triggers for acceleration. All these menus confuse me. And these controls confuse me because in every racing game I've ever played, I use the triggers as as the uh, braking gas. But in this game, I have to use the right joystick. Seven laps to go. I'm just going to be super clean. Never mind. I was going to say I'm just going to be super clean and run on the outside around these lap guys. So that I don't have any issues. We know we're faster than them. We have a huge gap. Uh, Anderson was in third momentarily, but he fell down the fourth. Now he's back in the third. But again, as long as we finish ahead of him, it doesn't matter because we have the bonus points now. Uh, we could, in fact, finish two positions behind him now and probably be good because with the five bonus points, we would have a 12-point lead, and I'm pretty sure we've locked in most laps led now. Yep, so we're going to be fine. Five laps to go. We're going to be fine as long as we don't screw this up. If Anderson wins this thing, we're going to be in some trouble. But uh, we have a almost an eight-second lead. Now we do have an eight-second lead. So, again, we just need to be smart about this, not incur any more damage. Hope the game doesn't randomly give us engine damage for the first time ever or the second time ever now. But that's not something that ever crossed my mind until now. So... Thank you, game, for bringing that to my attention. And at least it happened on the race before. Because I wasn't going to win that race at New Hampshire anyway. At least it happened there. If it happened here, we might be in some deep trouble. Because I think that engine damage only cost me maybe one or two spots. If it happened here, we might be in some more trouble. But we now pretty much have a 10 second lead over everybody. So I don't think we're going to have any issues here. 
No cautions to worry about. Two laps to go. Uh, looks like we're going to lock this thing up. Just got to be smart about it. Just got to be smart about it. Alright, this is probably not being smart about it going three wide. There we go. White flag is out for the last time sponsored by NASCAR Dirt to Daytona. Because I can't think of anything else right now. Alright, I'm not going to try to contend with you. You're not the second place guy. You're probably not even in the top ten. But coming off a of turn four, we're going to win at Martinsville. And we are going to win the Modified Season Championship. I did, at the beginning of the season, I had no idea we were going to be this good. Four wins in 11 races. I think that's our, I think we've had top tens in every single race, if I'm not mistaken. And we've had, I think, ten top fives. Oh my goodness. I After last season, obviously once we won Martinsville, I knew that things were going to start looking up for us. But I had no idea it would be this good, this fast. So, since this was only a two-race episode, we're going to set ourselves up for next season and get everything ready for our ride next year. Once the race at Martinsville was in the books, Aaron Fitch was officially announced as the Modified Series champion. Instead of doing a typical victory lap, Fitch stood on the hood of his car and addressed the media throng. I know for most of you, you my, and then we'll never know the end. But we win the race at Martinsville. We're two for two at Martinsville of all tracks. Uh, we win the championship by 32 points, four wins, eight top fives. Um, we did not have the most top fives. Anderson did have the most top fives, but we definitely had the most wins. Not going to worry about sponsors because we're probably never racing in this series again. We have $38,000, and we're going to head off to the postseason and get things set up for next year in the truck series. Nicely done, champ. That was an awesome performance. Are you ready to tangle with the big boys? We are looking to sponsor our own team in the Craftsman Truck Series. All we want from you is two top ten finishes. Are you ready? I am ready. That's from Sears Craftsman. Wow. Sears Craftsman. That's an interesting sponsor. But yet it's labeled as Die Hard. Or deal, deal hard, or whatever that is. Not gonna question it. They're willing to sponsor my truck, so that's all I'm gonna. That's all I'm gonna ask for. So here, here we are. Here's what happened. We four wins, eight top fives. We had a top ten in every single race. Best finish was first, obviously. So definitely a good season for us in the modifieds. Most likely our last season. I haven't decided how I'm gonna handle next season yet. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see. Are you the best? You look pretty strong last season, but we're looking for only the best. Well, I was the best, wasn't I? We're offering sixty thousand dollars if you can find a drive if we can find a driver who can guarantee to have an average finishing position or third or better. Forget about winning the championship. This is a real challenge. I might actually try that. Well, that was quite performance last season. Are you ready for a new challenge? We heard at Mon we here at Monster Games would love love it if you would join our Federalite Modified team for next season. We'll pay fifty five thousand dollars if you can place in the top ten at least ten times. So we would have one Mulligan race that we didn't have to. Jack Link's beef beef jerky. Wow. All right. Uh, we at Jack Link's have had a tradition of excellence in the Federalite series, and after watching your performance last season, we know that you are the kind of driver we need for continued success. Uh, top three drivers in championship. All right. Um, we'll, we'll just skip ahead. I don't really want to re read all these, unless if there's one that strikes me. But since our boss is so cheap, uh, you should look back at that. Pause it and look back at that. I didn't catch it in time. But basically, let, let's figure out what we want to do here. An average finish of third or better. That would be tough. But 10 top 10 finishes is definitely possible. Only a $5,000 difference. So we're going to sign Monster Games, the creator of NASCAR Dirt to Daytona, as our sponsor for the Modified Series next season. Again... So, uh, I don't know if we're going to run it yet, but we'll go from there. Uh, we finished last in the 
my uh, weekly racing series because we didn't run any of the races. Um, so good for us. Budget constraints, we've decided not to renew our contract. Yep, that's that's understandable considering I didn't run a single race for you guys. The NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series started only a short time ago in 1995, but ever since its first race at the Homestead Miami Speedway, it's been the fastest growing league in NASCAR. The popularity of the league has been attributed to many things. America's love of trucks, the competitiveness of the field, why some even think that since these trucks are a bit tougher than their shorter four-wheeled siblings, they're able to do more door-to-door -door racing than found in the more prestigious series. The start of this year's NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series is about to get underway at Daytona. One of the trucks to watch this year has to be the Sears Die Hard Racing Team's number 202 ride, driven by none other than last year's reigning NASCAR Featherlight Modified Champion. With success in both the Modified League and on the dirt, the Sears Die Hard team's confident that within a season or two, theirs will be the truck team to beat. All right, thank you for that intro, Alan Bestwick. And I think we're pretty much set up for next season, except for the fact that we have a ton of money to spend. $63,000 is no, no small payday. There's our truck alongside our two other cars that we may or may not use next season. But obviously, let's see if we can make any upgrades to the truck series. I'm highly expecting these to be super expensive. So let's just uh, see what we can do here. We can de definitely afford the first engine thing, which would definitely be number one priority. But let's just kind of compare and see how much money everything is. Alright. We could probably buy almost all the tier one upgrades. But let's for sure get that first engine. That's going to be the big thing that we need right away. That adds a ton of power to our trucks. So that's definitely what we need. Uh, more peak torque, uh, higher red line, and a little less weight. So that is what we need. We're going to purchase that part. That's going to help us get off to a great start. We're going to buy this first suspension thing because I, I think we're going to need it, honestly. Um... Uh, me and suspension upgrades have had a mix, mixed relationship. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to purchase anything else, though. We can't purchase that aero upgrade. We can purchase this exhaust upgrade, so we're going to do that as well. So the only thing left in the Tier 1 group for the truck that we haven't purchased yet is the aero. Uh, so once we get enough money to do that, we're going to purchase that. So, uh, my train of thought is to still do the Modified Series this next season. Um, just so we can start building up money. That was kind of the purpose of me doing the Weekly Racing Series as well. Uh, uh, this two seasons ago now. So that was kind of the purpose of me, so I could build up money faster. And the Modified Series, it's pretty rich if you start winning money. Uh, or winning frequently. So I think it's definitely going to be worth it for us, especially with all the new sponsors we're getting for us to do some, some uh, modified series races. Not going to do the weekly racing series. Uh, no, no purpose to it, really, especially now that we don't have a sponsor. Um, so uh, no need to do that. We'll run the truck series. We'll run the modified se series next season. Otherwise, that's pretty much everything we need to take a look at here. Um, let's just see where the first race is. At, at the truck series. If it's at Daytona, I think it, it should be at Daytona. Yep. So our first race next episode, I think I will actually do an episode next week of this, will be at Daytona. So get excited. We're finally in the truck series. We're, we've made it through season one. We've made it through season two. Now we're going to start season three uh, of my playthrough. Uh, I'm basically starting a new season every time we get to a new series. That's basically the method uh, I'm using. So season three will start hopefully next week at Daytona in the truck series. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more content from ATF Gaming, be sure to hit that red subscribe button and hit that little notification bell so that you get a notification every single time that I post a video. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.